Want them? That's what you do. Here's the novice yeah, the, shoes. Like the kind of quiet interpretation. Have to like Change up my uh, game plan. Giving out some brown collars. Pretty similar to that. Conky, by the way, it's conky. It's really strong. Ooh. Patsy's Poorhouse. I like that. The Olympia Fairy Supply. How do you do these? I just knocked the Spokane Dan's probably, uh, probably going to be taking that home. I don't know, a little bit, then I hang it over. Gavin, where do we get the water? Squirt that. Sweet. Oh, I do. What's your name? Yeah. Here's Rick. Nice. How's it going? It's going. We're just going to go fill up with some water right now. All righty. There you go. here from Canada. I'd just like to thank everybody for coming out and participating in this. We're here to have a good time. It is a competition, but the same we're, we're here to have fun at the same time. So with that being said, uh, all sanding slash finishing systems are strictly prohibited. Finishing shall be completed with file and brush exclusively. No foreign substances shall be applied to either foot or shoes. Striker rasping is strictly prohibited. Judges have the final say in all matters regarding the competition and any surrounding issues. Feel free to ask judges about any further concerns and or paradigms. We're going to start off with the eagle eye. All competitors will receive a 10 second look at the foot. No touching or measuring is allowed. All divisions are allowed 20 minutes to prepare their specified shoe to fit the foot. None of these shoes are going to have clips on them in the eagle eye. We just want to see nice, good, usable, whichever shoe is going to be the closest, usable, safe for a horse. I mean, if you're too big or too short, you know, somebody else is probably going to beat you. So, just a nice, good, usable shoe to keep a horse sound. No measuring, measure the foot. Measure. No measuring, just looking. Can't touch the foot, you have 10 seconds to look. And then you go cut whatever you think you need. Good luck to everybody. You can't film it either. I'm not going to look back at it, but... Yeah. Hold on. Done. Oh, that's the other thing. <laughs> I'll have a guy on the chop saw. Just let him know what you want. Yeah. One at a time. Yeah. As you look at the foot, go with him. Go look. Yeah, don't worry about any of that. Uh, We're... Cut. Thanks, sir. What's your name? Cutler. Cutler. Well, I'm Gavin. Good to meet you. Thirteen. You're lying, right? Bump that much into it? It's a bar shoe. Oh, it's a bar shoe? Oh. Plain stamp bar shoe. Okay. We make a bar shoe. Right there. Did you go half? 13 and a half? 13? Quarter. Quarter. All right, we got the eagle eye. 20 minute long, cut 13 inches. So we'll see how close it is. Uh, you guys saw the foot, just the same as I did. 10 seconds, that's all you get to look. And we got 20 minutes to build this shoe. About to start here in a few minutes, so let's get after it. Three, two, one, go. Twenty minutes. <laughs> it's 
So this class is actually going to be fairly tough for me since I've just pop, got done popping all them blisters. Got it wrapped up like this just to try and protect the palm right there and right there as much as I can with that finger. It's already brutal. I have it.
try to get it to grow after I got my nails punched and then we'll kind of go through the toe again as well. This next seat, I'm gonna come out and punch my nails. We got eight minutes, 15 seconds left on the clock. So hopefully I can get the nails punched on one side in two minutes, the next side in two minutes. That would leave me uh, four minutes left to finish shaping and maybe put some boxes on. now so that was a uh, like two and a half minutes I guess I forgot to put a new rivet in these tongs or I guess I didn't forget I just didn't do it so these ones stick on Did your dad tell you to come spy on me? No. Some other guys? Other guys, yeah. Yeah, your dad says you got your own little, well actually I saw it last night, you have your own little anvil and your own little hammer. Four and a half. 
half of about four and three quarters, so I kind of need to switch it up, but I'm too pumpkin-y, so it puts more of a box. Don't be close. About four and three quarter to the outside heel. About four and five eighths wide, so you can see how close we are. So this is the shoe I got. Tried to make it as boxy as possible. I mean that outside, typical outside there. Got a little bit of boxing, not much. So yeah, guess now it's up in the judges' hands. I mean, they're just really open to the spots to just come in and then the rest of the day. I'm going to cut mine off and take an inch out and then come back. You went back and put a big piece, didn't you? Yeah, I want to do that. Do you all see what he's doing right now? Do you all see how he went and had an initial assessment? He's like, yeah, I think I got him like this. Now he's going back through. Okay, does this one beat that one? Does this one beat that one? Now he's gonna go back down through it. Does everyone understand that? About, from the judging aspect? That's a good salt shoe. It's a bit long. It is number three. Look at the picture in here. Yeah. Shoe on the table. That's why I'm in the school. I think number two beat it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the thing okay you see me going with my fingers and you see us doing all this before it's all done we're going to check this forward as well and make sure that we are judging this correctly does that make sense see but right now we're going down through trying to sort things out okay when it comes to the nut cutting, we will check that forward um, and make sure that we're right. Does that make sense? Huh? Scott Norgard, does that make sense? You are correct. That is number one. Do you like it? That is number one. Yep. Nice. Number one just went to number two. Yep. I totally agree. Unless you got something else. No. No. I mean, that's, that's I, mean I think. One right there. This one fits better. This yep. one, you know, it's yep. nice and yep. tight, yep. but good. it's just a They're little really bit good. tight. You know, it's very, very uh, tight. It's just, <laughs> and I don't like that toenail, but I still think that, that guy can back punch that. Yeah. He can still get that nail. But as far as fit, which this is the eagle eye, we're all about fit, right? It might come down to holes, 
that hole right there I can easily fix and I can get that nailed and it fits better than that one. Okay. That's how it is, isn't it? <laughs> That's how it is. Right there. So. Yep. Brian. Is that one yours? Is that one yours? No, I mean, Make sure nobody moves those oh, okay. shoes so we can get the scores down. Well, you really only need the top one. Eagle eye. Okay. Or you need the scores. Is that how you want to do it? Well, whatever you, whatever you decide, well then... Do you, you want to throw that one on there, Mark? Points on the Eagle Eye. I mean, it depends if I Okay, well then we need to judge them all down. That's what I was thinking. I mean, I just set all these over here. Okay. Yeah. You're too good. Yeah. Just top five is fine. It's not good, really. That's you know. Is this our top here? Yeah. Are you three or three? So oh, this one too. Are you really? Uh, <laughs> I'm like a three or five, I think. Or blind lights. Okay. Yeah. You know, I guess some not. So I just wish this one wasn't so like long that, because it's yeah. got a way better shape than this one, right? But I'm gonna have to place this one because yeah, it's not so long. You know, like it doesn't have the good shape. Yeah. That one. This one might go up here yeah. now because it'd be easier to draw it out and, and fix it than some of the others. Yeah. No, but I mean, I, we gotta put it in somewhere. This one here would be easier, easier to fix. As far as you know, when you whip it a little bit, stretch it out, you could get it. Going. If you just got a little bit of shape in that, that shoe right there yeah, is fine. brilliant. It would, yeah, that would go up brilliant. there then. Yeah, yeah. So and it's, I think it's pretty, yeah. pretty well. I'm going to make sure it ain't ahead of this one. It ain't ahead of this one. This one's a little bit long, but this one fits. Yeah. yeah. So it ain't ahead of that one. I'd be happy. I mean, that's how I'd be happy with it. Spokane Dan, are you 303? Good job, man. You yes. number one? <laughs> yeah, thank you. I told you he was going to kick it. Nice job. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, they like it. What is this one here, Measure? So, anyways. Uh, that's just under five. Like, it's like four and seven, eight, and that's five. I think Jaeger would not seem way off. Okay. So, we got to make a pair of fronts, a pair of hinds all in one go. It's 60, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah go ahead. First time I ever made one of these heels was uh, at your contest. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just a suck out of No What do you see here? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I have no idea. I'm the wrong person to ask. <laughs> no. All right, cost one. They don't care what kind of. No, I don't. That's what you want them. That's what you do. Here's the novice shoes. Giving out some brown calls, there's pretty similar to that. Conky, by the way, it's conky seems really strong. Patsy's poor house, I like that. The old Olympia Ferry Supply. How do you do these? I just knock the Spokane Dan's probably going to be taking that home. And a little bit, then I hang it over. Well, Eagle Eye's done. Um, my shoe is a little bit, uh, a little tight and small, but what the judges had said that it would be easier to make it grow compared to the shoes that are actually long, like the ones that are behind it that are longer, they would take more fixing to do because you'd have to do either a lot, of, a lot of rasping basically in order to make it, you know, not so long to where they're going to step it off. 
Whereas mine, I still had a little bit of mass still in it where you could grow it out or draw it out, you know, to get it to fit. And it really didn't need much. It was just, I think it was only a matter of like a 16th that it needed just to go out and around and then it'd be pretty dang good. So Spokane Dan won the Eagle Eye, so he's off to a good start. And then, uh, yeah, I think next we're doing the, uh, the concave class where do a pair of fronts and a pair of hinds in 60 minutes. And then uh, the fronts are hunter heels. Well, they're both kind of like hunter heels. Uh, the outside on the hind uh, has just a, kind of like a normal concave heel. And then the inside's penciled up. So, all right. We'll get after it here in a second. <laughs> 